tried and true. That's the beauty of fun. So I'm starting off with three pieces of styrofoam board that I got from Hobby Lobby. These boards are 40 inches by 60 inches. So I'm laying the boards down with the 60 inch side horizontally and the 40 inch side vertically. And I'm using some Gorilla Tape to tape these boards together. I'm using one piece per crease, but you can use more than one piece if you like. So this board came out to 10 feet tall. I wanted it to be closer to eight feet. So I decided to cut off two feet with a box cutter. And then I used some Gorilla Tape to tape the board onto my metal shear wall frame to make sure it was nice and stable. So now I'm using some peel and stick wallpaper that I got off Amazon. And this is about 18 inches wide by about 32 feet long. So you just wanna peel a little bit of the backing off and then flatten that vinyl against the styrofoam board. And then you just wanna start slowly peeling down the backing while flattening down that vinyl onto the styrofoam board to get all of the bubbles off and to make sure that the vinyl is going down nice and straight and not crooked. So just take your time with it. So once I'm done with this strip, I'm going to cut the vinyl at the very bottom and do the same process again, starting from the top. I ended up doing this two more times. I folded any excess vinyl around the edges of the board for a cleaner look. So I added some vinyl signage to the board. I'm gonna show you how I added the word baby. I made this with my Cricut machine and that's transfer tape that I'm putting on the board. And you're just gonna rub that transfer tape onto the board and then slowly peel it off to make sure that that vinyl is on there nice and neat and just take your time doing it. So I'm gonna be using two colors for this balloon garland, Pastel Matte Lilac by Sempertex brand in 11 inch. I'm gonna blow two of them up and tie them together into a dupe. And then I'm gonna be using Tough Text 18 inch Blossom. And I'm gonna tie one Tough Text Blossom to one Sempertex Lilac and make a dupe. Then I'm gonna twist together these dupes and then I'm gonna add one more 11 inch Lilac dupe to make a cluster of three dupes or six balloons. So now I'm gonna take a 260Q balloon, so that's the long stretchy black balloon, and I'm gonna tie it together to make a rubber band. Then I'm gonna take one cluster and wrap a couple balloons in that 260Q. Then I'm gonna take another cluster and wrap a couple more balloons in that same 260Q. You wanna wrap at least two to three balloons in there so that these clusters are together nice and tight. Now I'm gonna add a third cluster using a 260Q. And I'm gonna wrap at least two to three balloons in that cluster to those other two clusters to make one big cluster of balloons. So that's a total of 18 balloons in there with three of them being the 18 inch Tough Text Blossom balloons. So I'm gonna attach this big ball of balloons to the lower left hand corner of this board. So I'm using a backdrop clip and a 260Q. I'm just gonna tie that 260Q into itself and it's gonna be in the mouth of the backdrop clip. Then I'm gonna attach the clip to the board and take the 260Q and wrap it around at least one to two balloons in this balloon ball. So I'm playing around with the shape of this balloon garland. I didn't want the typical linear balloon garland base that I make when I stack my clusters on top of each other. I'm actually kind of attaching the clusters side by side and then wrapping them into a big ball so you see me wrapping it into like a big balloon cluster ball and then i'm attaching these balls to the corners of this board so i'm going to attach a ball of balloons to the top left corner of this board and i'm only attaching two clusters together instead of three and again, I'm just using a backdrop clip and a 260Q balloon to do that. And now I'm gonna thicken up these clusters and extend them by adding in smaller clusters of two dupes or four balloons and a 260Q balloon. And I'm just gonna wrap that 260 around one of the balloons in the pre-existing garland and then tie the 260 into itself. And that's how I'm adding these smaller clusters. So again, I'm just adding these small clusters of four balloons with the 260 Qs. 
and I'm trying to make it look like these balloons are hugging the board you know like they're coming from behind and then wrapping around the front and then I'm also extending the sides at the bottom While I'm attaching these extra clusters, I'm also playing around with the pre-existing balloons in the garland. Um, if I see them pushing to the back, I'll bring them to the front, you know, just playing around with the shape to get it to where I want it. I decided to add some more clips to make sure that the garland is nice and secure against the board, especially since this is going to go outside. So now I'm going to add my five inch decorators. I twisted them together in clusters of four balloons, attach two clusters to each side of a 260 Q. And I'm just going to wrap that 260 Q balloon around a few balloons until I get the clusters to where I want them on the balloon garland. When it comes to five inch clusters, I like to use them to cover up gaps and I do like to space my clusters out. So now I'm adding a faux floral arrangement to the right top hand corner of the board. That is a backdrop clip that I gorilla taped to a floral foam cage. I'm just gonna clip that on there. And I got these faux florals from Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna start off with my hydrangeas because they have the most mass to them and I can really cover up that floral foam. So I just cut the stems to about three inches and I'm gonna press those hydrangeas into the floral foam nice and tight. Again, the goal is to use the flowers with the most mass to try to cover up the floral foam and then add your other flowers. Now I'm cutting those purple roses to about six inches. And then I decided to add some white flowers and I cut those to about four inches and added those a little bit closer to the foam so you can cover up the sides on the perimeters. I'm not sure what the purple flowers are with the leaves, but I decided to add them to the sides just to stretch my arrangement out to make it look bigger. Then I added these roses that were kind of a mix of a purple and a green to add a little bit of color variation. Then I added some more white flowers, but I didn't cut the stems as short because I wanted them to really stick out and make the arrangement look bigger. The goal was to make it look um, balanced, but at the same time use various lengths to bring more interest to this arrangement. So here is the finished product with all of the vinyl signage as well as the butterflies attached to my backdrop board. Tried and true That's the beauty of us There's something that's to be said About the depth of our trust And we're still here you never left my side We just keep getting better Regardless of the times Something to be admired We are a work of art You give me inspiration Baby, we are Baby, we're classic Just like our favorite song We can play on